Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case Mr. Out the Pass, and we are going to case number 21. Blue blazes. And what, what happened to him? I tell you, I was just reflecting on the name Sinner's End. It's a perfect name for this part of town, to be sure. From prostitution to alcohol, the Irish game run by the flag and still discovers everything. And now there's new trouble brewing too. Some prostitutes working for the Irish are going missing. We don't have much to go on, never will keep a close eye on Finley Flanagan, who is in charge of the prostitution bracket. Or you must forget his sister Fiona, the Viper. She runs the gang's alcohol business. With the sale of booze having recently become illegal, I hope her business is hurting. I know prohibition isn't helping me any. I presume the gang is still running moonshine sales, so we post a police officer around town to keep an eye out, but so far there's... Hello Ramirez, what is it? Katia, great news, we found a truck used by the Irish gang to deliver illegal alcohol. That is good news, let's go have a look at this truck, Katia. Thank you Ramirez. Molotov cocktail, what? <laughs> Alright. Let's rescue this delivery truck. And what the fuck happened to you? Looks like he was burned, so... My goodness, Katia, the man was burnt alive. After a great fire on New Haven, I hope never to smell that stench again. But you're right, the smell of the victim is mixed with the smell of another type of fuel. The victim must have been dosed in alcohol. And then the killer murdered him by lighting him on fire? With the body so close to a truck used to hold illegal booze for the Irish gang, do you think this murder could be gang related? I agree. There's nothing for it but to look at our clues. This hat was right next to the body and it's been damaged by fire. But what's that footprint on it? We were the only person who could have stepped on this hat after the fire is the killer. Has collected a sample of that footprint will tell us more about them. And what's this faded postcard? I see that it was written by a Mami O'Neill. He was hoping that whatever you uncover on this postcard can lead us in the direction of who the victim is. The gangs are involved, we must act quickly. Yeah. Ah, already with a weapon emulation. So it's just ordinary alcohol. Not a Molotov cocktail. I don't even know what are mo Molotov cocktails made of. Is it just gas inside a bottle? Alright. Don't get me wrong. Okay, we are gonna wait for this to finish and I'm gonna need some stars to do all this. So, see you in a bit. Let's see what happened to this guy. Hello, Katia. Wait a moment, I'll just put myself out and I'll be right with you. What were you doing? A magic trick? But, Dick, you're on fire! Precisely, or rather, a sauce I can cook it is. It's a sort of a gel that delays the heat impact of fire. Sadly, your victim didn't have that sort of protection before being set on fire. He was dosed in high proof green alcohol instead. Yes, we know that, but do you have any idea of what ignited the flames? Microscopic analysis of the chair remains show that the fire was started by a cigarette. There was no evidence of tobacco smoking the victim's lungs, so the killer must have thrown their own cigarette at the victim, and the poor fellow went up in flames. So it's safe to say that the killer smokes. Well, all their days of freedom are about to turn to ashes. Heh! <laughs> Smoker. Just like they always do. Put the gas on a victim and then just light it with a cigarette. Alright, let's now see this postcard. I mean, we don't even know who this guy is. Dear she moves good. I can't read it, it's too faded. The faded postcard I found reads Dear she moves good on you for sticking to your own kind. Love, Mommy O'Neill. I think I know what they mean. She O'Neill? That name sounds familiar. 
Hey Rock out there, he's an Irish immigrant in my new haven. Last time delivering goods to a party in Elysian Fields. With this postcard being found on Christ, he must have been here. Let's, you know, let's find Shimus and ask what has brought him to Sinner's End. Alright. Long time no see, Shimus. But he's a nice guy, so... Alright, now this cap. Can't we just identify the footprint to see what uh, killer was wearing? What kind of, what type of shoe he was wearing? Apparently, that's no. And yeah, now we got a sample of such a curious footprint on the witty's hat. Let's get it to Viola. Yes, let's do this. Nine hours. Now let's go talk to Shimus. Long time no see, dude. Mr. O'Neill, technically I found this postcard from your mother. What are you doing here in Sinner's End? Deliveries, technically. It's what I do these days. Deliveries? Wait a moment, are you delivering alcohol for the Irish gang? Alcohol sales are legal now, or didn't you know? I can't say what I'm delivering exactly. But better I deliver for the Irish than for anyone else. They protect me from the Italians. The Italian gang ran me out of my last job, broke my bike and everything. So now I'm here, I was supposed to make a delivery for Davy Byrie. Him as a makes the moonshine for the gang. Nice fella, even with that fierce scar across his eye. A scar across his eye? Our murder victim has a scar match in that description, so you say he was Davy Byrne, the Irish gang's alcohol distiller? That's Davy, alright? He might want to tell his wife. She's a seamstress with a shop nearby. We should head straight to the shop then. Stick to Sinner's sense for now, Mr. O'Neill. We may need to speak with you again. Well, congrats. You told us how. What's our victim's name, so. Davy, oh, Davy Byrne. Alright. I think I messed up a little bit, but whatever. Alright, let's investigate this shop. Well, I knew it was going to be Shivas as soon as I saw the last name was O'Neill. <laughs> what do we need cash register for? shop is empty, but you did find a cash register. A lot of secrets can be kept to one of these. Perhaps you should open it. Hey, what are you doing with a cash register? We are with the Concordia Flying Squad and we are investigating a murder. Are we might in assuming that you are Mrs. Byrne? I was certainly am. What's it to you? Mrs. Byrne, I'm afraid you have some sad news to impart. You better take a seat. Alright, let's see if you're going to be sad or not. Alright, uh, let's do the cash register. Okay. Cash register is up, Ekati. You can have a rummage through it to see if there's anything that can help us. Anything else besides money? Alright, I'll do it anyway. We need to. Okay, let's uh, search the cash register. Okay, a note. Recipe. You found a recipe? But I thought that's surprising. It is a cash register. Oh, you're right, the recipe shows that Giletta and Patch had beat work done in this shop for a goat. Giletta, long time no see. I haven't seen Miss Capetra since Arsa's file of party in Alicia Fields. Back then she seemed to have had her fill of polite society. What was is the daughter of an Italian master doing here now in the Irish quarter? We better find Miss Capetra and ask her. 
Okay, what are you doing here? Well, she had nothing to do with uh, with any cases in Elysia Fields, just that uh, Mr. Asa tried to please her by organizing parties where people can murder someone who got her mad. Alright. Mrs. Byron, we are afraid that your husband was found murdered earlier in the day. Murdered? No! It can't be! It can't! We are sorry for your loss, but... Can I see him? Please, maybe you got the wrong fella. Mrs. Byron, I don't think that you could want to see him in his current state. Is there anything you can... Oh, that's my worst nightmare come true. What'll I do without my Davy? We'll leave it to grave in peace for now, Mrs. Byron. But we may require your assistance if the investigation continues. Alright. Oh my gosh, other than any suspect we interrogated in the mysteries of the past. Alright. What about Giletta? What are you doing here? Ms. Capetri, how surprised it was to find your name on a recipe from a seamstress in Cedar Sand. The family has no love for the Irish. So why? Why must I be judged by who I am related to for everything I do? Molly Barney is the best seamstress in Concordia. It's worth risking my life by coming to Cinder Zen for her skills. She's that good. Well, so far, the only one whose life was in danger was Molly's husband, Davy. He was found murdered today. And what the coincidence is that we find you here today, too, right after an Irish gang member is killed. Oh, you think I killed him? You're off your head. I'm here for shopping, not murder. Miss Capacci, the fact that you ever came to Sirius and at all makes us a suspect. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Okay, weird that you are here then. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna wait for this brown substance to finish. See in a bit. And we are back. Let's check out this brown substance. Katria had a look at the substance you brought me. It's horse pokey. Viola, what a thing to say. Katria took a totally viable sample from the curious footprint of the victim's hat. No, I mean that the substance was horse manure. Of course, it especially did not come from an ordinary horse either. The manure was so nutrient rich that it could be it could only have belonged to a race horse. So Kiru trailed this nutrient rich horse manure all the way from a racetrack. We look for who goes to the horse races on a regular basis. Then tally ho. Okay, we never had that before, so. But yeah, this case looks like a deuce. You found an Irish distiller who worked for the Irish gang burned to death in his own hooch, for heaven's sake. So far, we've spoken to his wife, Molly Byer, who is understandably distraught. And our old acquaintance, Seamus O'Neill, was running running deliveries of the moonshine with the victim. If he's joined the gang, who knows what he's capable of now? And then there's Gilletta Capet. She risked her life to come into the Irish quarter to forbid work on the dress. I find that a little much, don't you? I have no sign of Fiona Flanagan, who is in charge of the Irish alcohol racket, in any of this. Yet. Katrina, come quickly. We found the distillery where the victim made his moonshine. Oh. Okay. That's some find. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that. Okay. Uh, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna continue playing in chapter 2. So, thank you for watching. Look, do you like this video? And I'll see you again. Goodbye!